Hey guys, this is Joe with uh, Jojo My Friend 301. Uh, just want to show you guys how we skin a deer. Um, this is my way of doing things, not um, you know maybe the most effective or most efficient way, but once again, it is my way. Um, I'm going to be skinning this deer uh, pretty much in my garage at home with basic tools. Um, I'm not using a pulley system. I'm not going to be using a hoist. Um, and which I have all that stuff, but for the sake of doing a video um, at home with basic, uh, you know, primitive tools, that's kind of how we want to do things. So, um, first things first, um, I like to use like a four inch blade, um, six inch blade is fine. I'll use that a little later on in the process, but uh, just to start, um, I always like to cut off the hind shanks and the fore shanks. That's just going to make it a little easier to hang. Uh, because you're going to see that process. <laughs> Alright, so the main reason I take off those shanks is simply because um, when we hang this deer on the ladder, it's actually going to It's a little easier when you have someone working with you, but let's see how we're doing this at home. Basically what I'm using today is just a ladder, everyone should have one at home, and actually one of my uh, truck straps. So um, everyone should have something like that available as well. And you hook your gambrel to that. Also, where the Achilles tenon is, we have um, made cuts already, so uh, that's where the gamble is going to go between the legs. And basically, we're just going to hoist this um, deer up the old-fashioned way. We 
which they turn basically to your desired height and now we have the deer we're ready to work so high level and we'll start with some of the first steps uh, this deer was already field dressed um, not really going to critique that. Um, could show you guys that on one of the other videos, but basically, we're just going to show you how uh, we skin it at this point. So, the main thing is you're going to try as little hair as possible on your meat. That is by far most important part of this process. And make sure you don't cut that Achilles tendon because that is the only thing that is holding our gear up. So you basically just want to, I guess, cut around the back, make sure you don't hit that Achilles tenant. And you should be able to work it on down.
at this point, you really can stop using the knife a little bit. some of the air out, but it's not going to be perfect. And you can always clean that up when you go to, uh, actually when we start processing the deer, but once again, it's just a skinny side. As long as we keep that high turned in, we're really not going to get much um, hair on it. This is when a, I guess a, a winch or some way to hoist the deer works out a little better than just using a house ladder. I guess you get spoiled. So basically we've got the deer skin down from the hind quarters down the torso into the neck. And uh, it's basically the way um, I skin a deer just with uh, some bad home tools, not just uh, you know using a winch or a uh, you know a processing plant or anything like that. So this may help you, but just the way I do it at home. So um, Stay tuned and may break the deer down too and show you guys how we do some of that. So uh, once again, thanks for tuning in.